Hi everyone, day two of sourdough starter. I already made a video on this before, but um, I didn't like how it turned out, so I've already fed this one. But basically you're gonna take, you're gonna stir your sourdough starter before you take anything out. So you're gonna stir it up, get all the water that's kind of collecting on the top. You're gonna take half of it out, discard it, and then you're gonna add one fourth of a cup of flour and one fourth of a cup of water back in there. And then you're gonna stir it up again. You're gonna put the plastic on it and you're gonna let it sit. And then tomorrow you'll see more bubbles and you're gonna do that for five days. And on the fifth day, we're gonna smell it and we're gonna look at the activity of the bubbles. If this thing is actively kind of like brewing, then it's done. In this weather, I don't think it's going to be done in five days, but I wanna show you what it looks like between now and five days. Here's how you're gonna use the starter. And I'm gonna repeat this more than once um, on, this, on this series. So at the end of like 10 days, we're gonna have maybe three to four cups of starter, which is good. We're gonna make a batch of dough together and you're gonna use maybe one and a half cups of starter. In the recipe, we're gonna add more water and more flour, some salt and um, water, flour, oh, no yeast, because this is the yeast. This, salt, flour, and water, and that's all you need for bread. So uh, salt is very important. So you're gonna have one and a half cups of starter left in here. You need that, because we're gonna feed this with three-fourths of a cup of water and three-fourths of a cup of flour to, to replace that one and a half cups that we used and it's going to, you you fed it. After, so, after 10 days making your starter, you never have to wait 10 days to make starter again. This starter that you'll make, I my starter that I have in my refrigerator, let me show you really quickly. My starter is about 15 years old. Now I have this one and I don't want to, and I have this one, yowza. That's my starter. That's about 15. I fed it yesterday and it's, um, I fed it and I kept it in the fridge because I'm not making bread right now because um, I'm working full time. So I'm, not that I can't, it's, oh, hang on a second. Let me just do this. There we go. So that is my starter. Now yesterday when I fed it, this was super, see all this right here? That's how high it got, because it was bubbling. It, the bubbles were moving up and down and up and down like this. It was beautiful. Now I, I fed it because I thought I was gonna use it and then I got really tired. So I would have used this much of the starter. I would have fed it to here, left it out for a day. And then if I wasn't gonna use it again, Put the lid on it, stick it back in my fridge, and I feed it once a month when I'm not using it. But if I know I'm gonna make bread every other day or so, I just keep it fed, take some of it out if I'm not gonna make bread that day, just maybe a cup of it, and feed it. And keep it nice at room temperature, and just keep those bubbles going. This is your yeast, and it is fantastic. The more you use it, the more bubbly it gets, the more sour it becomes because right now it's really cold from my refrigerator. So I have to, if I'm gonna use this from the refrigerator, I have to let this sit out for 24 hours, feed it, which is take some of it out, put some of it back in while it's cold, let it sit out for 24 hours, then tomorrow in the morning, feed it again. And then when I come home from work, I will have ready sourdough. It's a process, don't worry, you don't have to learn it all right now. As we go along, I'm gonna show you, you'll start to understand it because I was afraid of this too. And um, I think it's it's fascinating and it's fun to do. So uh, that is what starter is. So this is what we're doing, right? We're starting out, this is day two. Okay, so notice we have a little more than we did yesterday. Yesterday we were down to here. Now we have a little bit more than yesterday and every day we're gonna do this. And for 10 days, you're gonna get up to about three cups. Okay, ciao. Oh, here's my PSA for the day. Don't steal fruit from people's yards. If you're hungry, go to the, try and find a way to, to ask the person if you can take a couple lemons or a couple of oranges or a couple of avocados. But to steal an entire box full of fruit from somebody else's yard is just completely ridiculous.
What are you gonna do with 400 lemons? Seriously, do you have scurvy? I didn't think so. Be nice. Ask people permission to do things in their yard. Don't just go up just because it's sitting on the side of the road and steal oranges from my friends or lemons or whatever. You're gonna get pelted with lemons if I'm there. All right, ciao, have a great day. Be safe out there, bye.